Hello, welcome to AP Physics 1 Unit 3, Non-Conservative Forces. This will be a bit of a shorter video since there is less to cover in general. Now what counts as a non-conservative force? Well, it's energy that is not conserved within the system, and the most common source of that is friction. This is because when two things rub together, the surface heats up, and that is heat energy being transferred out. That means it doesn't conserve the mechanical energy within the system, therefore being non-conservative. So how do we write non-conservative forces? Well, say that there's a minecart moving at 2 meters per second. Then it comes to a stop. So would our energy equation be 1 half mv squared equals 0? Well, that doesn't make any sense. So this is where friction comes in. The minecart came to a stop due to friction. And so subtract the work done by the friction force. And since it is assumed to be constant, friction is distance times the force, which is comes out to be F of F times D. And D in this case is the distance that the minecart traveled. So the final equation comes out to be 1 half mv squared minus the force of friction times the distance the minecart traveled. And that equals zero since it stopped at the end. Now there are a few confusing points that could occur from this. First, you only really want to put a non-conservative force on one side of the equation, usually the side that the object starts in. Now this doesn't mean that you only will have one friction energy term. If there are multiple surfaces with different coefficients, it will result in putting multiple friction terms in to account for the different coefficients of friction. We'll go over these in the practice problem, so you'll see. Another possible confusion point is what the distance can be. Now let's look at this ramp. When the minecart goes down the ramp, it covers a height of 5, which MGH would use. But that is not the distance. The distance is not 5. The distance is the hypotenuse of the triangle, since that's the side that the minecart is traveling along. So watch where you use the distance. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's go over some practice problems. Okay, so our first question will involve this villager minecart going in this direction at 2 meters per second and it eventually comes to a stop and how far does it go before it comes to a stop now to approach this question let's figure out what energies are at play so we have a coefficient of friction of 0 0.4 so we know that friction force is in play or friction energy and we also know that velocity is at play there is no gravitational force I mean gravitational potential energy because this it is the same height the whole way so at the start our velocity is mv squared 1 half mv squared subtracted by the force of friction times the distance that equals 1 half mv squared again but since we're only we're trying to find when v equals 0 we can just call this zero. Now we're trying to solve for d, so we can, uh, using some algebra, I'll be going up here. So using some algebra, we can figure out that one half mv squared equals the force of friction times the distance traveled. And now we can divide it equals d. Now what does this equal? So well we don't we don't know what f of f is, but we can figure it out by making f of f into mu force normal force since that is what that equals. And since normal force in this case equals mg, as you as you know from the previous units, we can assume that f of f equals mu mg. So it would be 1 half mv squared divided by mu mg cancel out m and you get an answer of 1 half v squared divided by mu g and we know all the values i'll be using 10 as g for today so we'll see and we get a value of d equals 0 0.5 it's very very short distance it only goes about this much but nonetheless you can see how the force of friction can result in us finding how far this minecart travels 
So here we have another problem that this time it involves two parts where the villager goes down the ramp and then goes out. So the coefficient of friction on the ramp is 0 0.4 and the floor is 0 0.2. And the question is, how far will this villager go along the floor? So we start by using the MGH formula since it's on a ramp and we know that the height of the ramp is 5. And we know that the theta of this ramp is 45 degrees. So first we use MGH. And since it does it starts at rest, we don't have a one half MB squared, but we also but we do have friction. Which is F of F D. And that equals one half MB squared. So then we have our other equation when one half when we get to this point we are at v and then all the way up until v equals zero so what is that one half mv squared minus f of f now for a different f equals zero so we can say that one half mv squared equals f of f d and we can see that since this and this are the same we can replace this with f of f d and it's good to label it so I'll label this one 1 and f of f 2 so our the big equation that we have is mgh f of f 1 d equal I mean minus f of f 2 d equals 0 so now if I erase this part, let's solve for f of f. I mean, let's solve for mgh first. So we know that it's uh, we know all the values in mgh. So we can kind of skip that for now. Let's start with f of f one d, which would be mu normal force. Let's start with mu normal force. And normal force in this case is not mg. It's a bit more complicated. Since the free body diagram is like this, we have we can say that mg uh, f of n will equal mg cosine theta. If you want to see why, you can see my forces and free body diagrams video. But for now, we know that it's mu mg cosine theta since we're trying to find a normal force here. So this times d. Now, what is d? Well, d in this case is not the height. But the hypotenuse since the minecart is going along, along the hypotenuse so the hypotenuse here would be sine of 45 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse and hypotenuse is x in this case or d in this case so then we just swap these and then we get d equals 5 over sine of 45 degrees so now we plug that into here, which is mu mg cosine theta times 5 over sine theta in this case. And since the thetas are the same, we can combine them to equal 5 cotangent theta. So that is the first f of f of 1d and now the second one is a bit simpler to figure out it's just going to be uh, it's just going to be mu mg mu mg that's about it for the f of f2 since we are on a horizontal plane there's no angle and then d is what we're finding in this case so we'll keep it as d equals zero and mgh is here so from here we can already cancel out all the m's we don't need the m's so it would be i'm going to erase this part so since we don't need g we equal h minus mu 5 cotangent theta minus mu d equals zero and so then we'll add mu d on both sides and then divide it by mu but make sure you label or just remember that 
these two mu's are different so do not simplify them because they will result in different values so we can say that this will equal d will equal 15 and that's how far the minecart will go before it stops and becomes zero so this is, is how we can see two separate friction terms being used and how that would apply so here's a very similar looking problem to the first one but this time we're finding a different variable so let's say that this villager's aim is to get to this red block here which is 10 meters away and it's going at 5 meters per second at 30 kilo and it weighs or this system weighs 30 kilograms how much would mu have to be for it to stop at 10 well let's see the energy equation we would use would be the same as the first one right equals zero because we want to stop at that point so then we can isolate the we can isolate the friction force by dividing it by the distance after adding it to both sides and the friction force would equal mu mg and at this point you can cancel out the m's and since we want to isolate mu we just divide both sides by g we get one half v divided by dg equals mu and that would equal mu would have to be 0 0.125 assuming gravity is 10 meters per second squared and yeah that's how we get the villager to this point point. and that's the end of the video so thank you for watching